This is a standard catch pit from Cubis Industries, utilising the Stackerbox Ultima technology. This provides London Underground with the opportunity to use the ready-made units on open section works and also allows for customization on site using additional 150mm deep ring sections. The ring sections which make up the catch pits are an SMC glass reinforced resin construction. These very strong sections are a thermoset material which means that once formed in the press the characteristics and shape do not change. The units are not prone to creep, distortion or shrinkage even under heavy loading. This also allows for an interference style fit with no movement within the section once they're locked in place. The design is one of horizontal and vertical ribs between two walls. The horizontal beam along the top forms the seal and the internal vertical rib ensures that the vertical loading is transferred evenly across the ring sections when the chamber is installed. The 10mm recess strengthens the corners and assists in the accurate interlocking of the sections. This ensures that sections can easily fit together. Once one end is located, simply drop the other end into place and press the ring section down. The basic chamber arrives on site as a pre-built 900mm tall unit. It arrives complete with base section, blank ballast boards both inside and outside and the frame cover attached to the top section. The ballast boards can also be supplied pre-cut and are suitable as a slinging point for positioning using the road rail vehicles. Ballast boards for each individual chamber may be supplied from stores or can be cut manually on site depending on each situation. On arrival at site, simply excavate to the required depth allowing for pea gravel bed, lower the chamber into position and then insert the pipe through the ballast board hole. Next, check laser levels and ensure inverts are correct. If they're not, then the ballast boards allow for 80 millimeters of adjustment once the inverts are correct, simply tighten the securing bolts and repeat the process for the outlet pipe. Once accurate, backfill with pea gravel to above the ducts and then continue up to the surface with ballast. One other option for installation is to receive the chamber with only the internal ballast board fitted. In this instance, the pipe would be fitted through the inner ballast board only and then a mortar cap is placed around the duct entrance. The mortar will attach to the ballast board as it is a cementitious product. In the case of track crossings, where the pipe will attach to the chamber from the side, holes up to 150mm can be cut using a core drill. If the hole transfers across two sections, then a square cut should be made to the ballast board supporting the inside and the outer pipe work fitted with a mortar cap. 